Welcome to Grace Among Us, the podcast where we unearth the many faces and places of grace and share stories of the power of grace in our human lives. Our desire is that this will inspire you to see grace in your own life and share it with others. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Ebony. Hi, my name is Ebony Gilbert, and I get to work alongside Carrie Richard to talk about grace among us. And it is about to be a new year. So I'm excited to be here with you today. And Carrie, who are you? (laughs) Ebony Gilbert. I am Carrie Richard. I'm a mindset coach. Uh, I help people make space and enjoy the ride. And this is my very favorite topic. And one of my very favorite people I get to, to speak to about grace. So uh, yeah, it is almost a new year. I, and actually when this comes out, it may even be the new year. So. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yes. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Here's to an amazing grace filled 2024. And here's to an amazing 2023 that blew my mind. It did. What it did. Yeah. Give me give me one. Give me something that blew your mind. Personal growth. Personal growth. I, I think uh you and I were talking yesterday a little bit about I was telling you that, you know, some of the things you asked me how was work and how was life. I was saying how some of the same things I've been going through in the last two weeks, some of the same situations I've been encountering. If I had encountered those situations a year earlier or two years earlier, I probably would have reacted very differently. But now I can laugh at them. Now I can kind of let it roll off my shoulders. And for that type of uh, peace, I can call it growth. I can use a bunch of self-help words. But for that kind of peace, to just organically flow. I'm not having to channel it. I'm not having to take a pause and go, oh, acting grace. It's just, I'm living in it in a way that is, feels very natural. That is mind blowing to me. And even the things that do get next to me, I'm not losing sleep over it. And I'm a lot less judgmental internally because I would never voice those things but now I don't even think them my mindset about some things are a bit different so for growth the growth the peace the grace and I, I I'd be silly to not attribute some of that to what we're doing here I'm I'm talking about it on a regular cadence. I'm not waiting for an opportunity to present itself and then I'll get my cup filled randomly at the gas station if somebody asks me. No, this is very intentional. And um, it's like watering. It's an irrigation system. This podcast has been a grace irrigation system and it comes on with a timer and it waters the seed and it keeps me positive and it keeps, you know, presenting in a way that my peace is growing and my relationship with God is growing and it's getting me to a point where I'm proud to say I'm a king, I'm a child of the king and I'm representing him in a way that's not forced. And I'm excited about how that looks in 24 because 23 felt exponential to me. So I don't even know what to imagine for 24. And I'm not talking about promotions. I'm not talking about things I bought those or trips I went on. Those things were great. I'm talking about the internal condition of my heart and soul. It's just in a good place. I love him. I love him. That I was can't... a long answer. It was a beautiful answer. And I, <laughs> to be honest, I was like, man, she took mine. <laughs> Well, let's hear it in Carrie's words. Oh my God. Okay. I give up uh, judging my own words against yours. (laughs) Yeah. That, that piece that surpasses all understanding and, and access to it. And I, what I heard you say was, you know, I didn't have to work 
not work for it, but it wasn't an effort. It's become like, like a more regular, um, just part of life. You know, we, it, there's that concept of uh, things becoming second nature. Like, I don't think about how I brush my teeth. I don't think about how I put my shoes on. I don't think about how I, you know, step out of bed or if I'm walking up and down stairs, things like that. And, you know, our, these sweet little brains and minds, like we talk to it with repetition. Like it understands repetition. So to your point, like being uh, being willing to uh, continue to have grace as a major focus, it I don't think it's I think it's impossible not to live like begin to live more into grace. I have a dear friend who says it's just walking further into the kingdom. And that just brings me so much joy to think about that. So yes, to your point, there are things that occurred this year. You know, the the word I had for this year was freedom. I had no idea what I was going to be freed from. And there were situations that were highly uncomfortable. And uh, in the past, I probably would want to go hide in the corner for a while and lick my wounds, right? And by God's grace, like there were different solutions or it it's almost like those grace glasses go on and things get right-sized or my perception is different. And that's not to say that I didn't cry, I didn't get angry, I didn't have all the feelings. This isn't a band-aid, but it's, oh my gosh, I can't, I am amazed. I can walk through this with grace. And it just, uh, you know, it inspires me to keep, keep, uh, keep practicing. Because to your point, who knows what 2024 is going to look like. Yeah, yeah. So I, I I can be excited about twenty four. I'm also a little. I don't want to use the word anxious, but a little anxious, because I know every round goes a little bit higher, and what you went through this time prepares you for the next time. So, and there's continued growth. Like you don't just stop growing. You're not. We're not going to get stagnant. So I know the next mountain will be a little higher. I know the next thing will be a little bigger, and that gives me a little bit of anxiety. But I feel so equipped. And that which I don't have, I know I will when I need it. And I have so much confidence in that. I, I love that word, equipped. equipped. And to your point, I may, I may not, I am not, most likely I am not equipped for something that's going to happen in February. And I don't need to be. Because February is not now. Exactly. Exactly. There's a, there's like a buzz statement that goes around the interwebs. Um, you know, new level. <laughs> it's new level, new devil. Devils. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, I don't. I you know that's what I hear when you're speaking about that. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know what excites me about that? And I get the anxiety. I'm not saying I'm all gung ho like bring it on, bring it on. Although I am a little bit. What excites me about that is I know what it feels like to walk through it and get to the other side of something like that. And so when I am in the middle, in the hall, walking through it, sometimes it's just, it's just reflecting back on a time when I've come through something really difficult and trying just for a minute to touch in on that, that feeling of, you know, sometimes, sometimes popping out the other side, like, it's like, holy crap, you wake up the next day and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm on the other side. I made it. Exactly. <laughs> and I couldn't have made it any faster. I, And I'm on time. Exactly. And I have no control over that time. Yeah. I like what you said, being able to look back and say, hey, I made it through before. Yeah. I can do it again. You know what? Um, 
I'm 100% successful in making it through. How about that for statistics? Those are good odds. That is an amazing batting average. Yeah, because here we are. Uh, Say that again. That kind of, that felt good. I am 100% successful at making it through difficult situations. There was no failure. No, because I'm sitting here. I got my coffee. Actually, it's water now. I got my water. I'm talking to a dear friend. I'm breathing. It's warm in here. I have all I need in this moment. That means I'm 100% successful. That is, that's not just good perspective. That's fact. That's not frou-frou. That is truth. And for all the scientific folks who struggle with reconciling the stuff with the stuff, that satisfies both. That's good stuff. There is a there is a scripture and I can't access it right now. So I'm gonna kind of paraphrase it and see if you can access it. It's not a test, just to say. <laughs> but Tell me you what know, it is. it's 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 talking about um I think it was Paul talking about the the power of just being content of with what we have. That's not a not a lot to be to abound to be abound and abased to be that you're talking about that one. It's Philippians. Philippians fourth chapter. And Paul's talking about he's in jail, basically, and his friends hadn't come to see him. And he's him I'm passing the test. And he's talking about, you know, I've learned to be content in whatever circumstances I'm in. Yes. Is that what you're hitting on? Uh, that's what I'm hitting on. That's it. And we'll reference it in the notes. Yeah. That that's chapter <laughs> that chapter four is a really good chapter. If you were just to read one chapter for the next month, read that. Yes, I've learned to have and have not. I've learned to be in need and not, you know, it's that, it, and he ends it with, no matter what, I know I can do all things through Christ. So I can make it in the desert. I can make it in the flood. I can make it. He's 100% successful. Absolutely. That's good stuff. That's a good reference. Good stuff. The, the thing about that verse I normally hone in on the, um, I can do all things. I've learned that I can make it. But the part that resonates with me right now in this moment is I've learned. He had to matriculate through this thing. Like it wasn't a, I woke up and it just dropped in me and now I'm good. No, I had to learn this. There had to be some training. There had to be some practice. And now I can say that I've learned it. Yes, I love that. It's, it's it's all the way back to, to your point of how being amazed in 2023, right? This isn't, this isn't, uh, it's not quick fix. This is lifetime stuff. It's not. I, um, I recently, like last week, completed the coursework for a degree program I was going through. And I, I did it because it was affordable and I guess I needed something to do. I don't know. But I went into it thinking I'm not going to learn a lot. This will just be some check boxes for me to get another degree on the wall. The stuff I have learned that is just part of conversation at work now where I'm folding it into different conversations with people has been mind blowing. And that wasn't even deliberate. So if I put a little bit of focus on learning man, the things you can walk away from and they become part of your life. So this piece I talked about in the beginning, I've learned that through the intentionality of us talking about it, through talking to Jesus. You know, like my prayers aren't just in morning at night. I'm throughout the day. I'm like, hey, Carrie, let's pray. Um, Hey, let's let's call in somebody to pray. Like it's, it's so much more, it doesn't feel as weird. 
I was going to try to find a way to, to say it profoundly. It just doesn't feel as strange. <laughs> I like, I like, it's not weird, right? It's to no, me. it's not weird. It's not weird to me either. And, and, um, you, you use the word learned. And as you were speaking, especially like with all the knowledge that you got for this degree program, it's that application. That's what transforms it into wisdom or discernment, or perspective, or, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's the application. Yes, it is. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So I am 100% successful when I apply what grace is teaching me. Is it our responsibility to apply? those teachings or is it just a bonus what's the expectation with all this knowledge and wisdom what's the expectation with this or is it just for us to feel good and that's it oh that's a big question that's a really big question so i'm gonna pick it apart (laughs) do we have a responsibility to grace to apply it absolutely absolutely not we do not because grace is free all the time, no matter where we are. Okay. Do we benefit from the application of it? Every time. Every time. Now, if you speak of applying grace as giving grace, to others, then we absolutely are responsible for that. We have a responsibility. So we don't have to do anything to get it necessarily. No, I don't think we can. We just got to be in the family. And we get to carry the name. And then from there we decide. Or not. Yes, and studies, and studies show, <laughs> my life study shows that when I freely share what I'm being given, everybody benefits. Does it benefit you? It, it does. I, not always uh, immediately. I just know from practice that it does. So let me ask you a question, and we didn't prep for this question, so <laughs> if I'm putting you on the spot. Go with it. That's fine. Have Have you ever freely shared it, and it didn't feel good immediately? You felt drained. You felt like it took something out of you. Yes, absolutely. How long do you wait before you say, "Okay, I'm better"? Why did I do that? <laughs> like, does it correct itself along the way? What do you do with those situations where you, you're you sharing and you're, you're doing it for the good? There's no ill intent here at all. And it doesn't feel good to you. You know what? You know what's... That's a great question. So um, what came to mind... I'm not going to get into the specific details or people, but somebody immediately came to mind. And just like grace is available to me all the time, right? And I can accept it or be in the position to be open to it, right? Or I can do this. I can block it. When I, when, if I'm giving grace to someone and they do this, it never feels good. And I can keep doing it and I can keep getting this. And at some point, what brings me comfort, right, wrong, or indifferent is, you know what, there's, there's, I'm going to redirect this to someone else. Because, Shake off the dust. Exactly. Because it's it's like a it's live we talk talk about living waters, right? It's a it's a flow and it's like beating my head against a wall. 
I so love yeah, it. that, that does feel good. Yeah, you're right. You're, I wouldn't have known to articulate it that way, but that's when it doesn't feel good. When you know it could go so much further, you know if it landed, it'd be so much more effective and it does not land because there's an arm up or there's a barrier. What and was, what was, oh, go ahead. Can I just say one quick thing? Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes it's continuing to give grace because it's chipping away at a wall. It's not a one and done. It just depends. Does that make the levy sense? doesn't break after one ring. Right. But after 10, it might be time to <laughs> kick the dust off your shoes and get to move. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good. That's good. I, I, I'd like to think of this as kind of a year in review. Kind of, we've been in the hall. We've had controlled burns. We've had grace glasses. Um and I'm going to drop a plug here. We're going to have a retreat in 2024. Yes, we are in March. We're going to do some stuff face to face. Yeah. So if you all are interested, stay tuned. There's more to come. Uh, and this is an opportunity to apply all of this in a very concentrated fashion, in a very beautiful community and really have it serve as a catalyst for some amazing, amazing things in 2024. I'm excited. Me too. All right, Carrie. I think we did it. We did it. Not Until alone. We did not oh. do it alone. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not just talking about this podcast. We did 2023. We did it. Successfully, 100%. <laughs> we love you. We're here for you. We want to yes. hear from you. We'd love to see you in a few months. Until then. Grace out. Grace out. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please let us know. We love to hear from you and share it with a friend. Also, please be sure to subscribe so you're notified when a new episode is posted. We hope you're leaving with another pointer to grace, a new perspective that will light it up in your own life. Until next time, be well, be bold, be kind to yourself, and be on the lookout.